forward, and then back, forward and back. Good afternoon, here we are again, back, I think day three, with the Inmotion V13. We're going to do a range test, well we're going to try. So yeah, we're going to go for a, a longer roll, I think, if I've got time and if my legs are up to it, because you're feeling it, aren't you? The new wheel. I've already been out twice today, you know, just quick roll for sunrise and yeah, just fitting it in wherever I can, I guess, you know, enjoying the new toy and just taking my time to get, get used to it and show you all. So I wanted to, you know, we need to put it through the test to see what this wheel does and how it performs. And I guess the only way to see if there's any bugs floating around is to get out and use it. I think I'm coming up close to around the 100 kilometer mark. We'll definitely hit that today. Um, and yeah, happy to say no troubles at all for me so far. Loving it, still loving it. Still getting used to it. Um, you know, I find it's just the weight, really. Slow mount, slow riding, slow mounting, things like this, coming up to a set of lights and just hoping you don't look like the idiot when you hold it up, pull up in time. So, so far so good. But just got to keep on your toes and um, remember what you're dealing with. But off we go. I'm going to head along a bike path. It's called uh, Belimba Creek Bikeway. It's one of the longest, uh, longest stretches we've got here in Brisbane. So yeah, come with me if you like. We'll go and have a play today. Okay, so I'm just at the start of the bikeway now. I did just a time lapse through that segment back there. Thought I'd just start the video rolling here. I'm gonna make sure I stick to the local laws, speed limits. It is a shared pathway, so I am required to stick to a certain speed limit. I might find some other places like there's some bush tracks and some grass and a few places I know where I might be able to push things out so it might average the speeds a little higher but I'm considerate of people and I'm not just tearing along at this point but you can see this pathway I've picked a part of the path and the time of the day that I know is first of all I've got a really good line of vision and I know that it's not busy and I know that the kids are at school so there's not too many young ones running around but people use this to walk their dogs a lot and there's a lot of elderly you know people out walking so i'm going to be considerate of that further along as i head into this video there's a few places i should be able to open the wheel up a bit and you know you're not going to always be rolling along at these speeds to get the range so you know i, I would i would like to also look at trying to do a bit of a real life scenario on a big wheel like this but this is beautiful what a way to do it what a way to roll showing 92% battery at this point. Uh, I kicked into the InMotion app that started at the start of this trip. So that should log everything. I need to make sure I have a look at the screen here at the end of the day and just make sure I log, you know, get the data off that because I don't know if it always records to the InMotion app and I'm still finding my way around the changes that they've made in the new app. So finding it hard to find my logs. I think I found them, but I used to get maps and visual readouts and a few other things that I could see on the old app that I haven't found just yet. And te temperature, so let's go over a couple of those things that matter. It's 29 degrees today. My weight, you know, look, I'm probably about 90 kilos. And I've got a few kilos in the bag, plus the helmet, the gear. <laughs> I'll go through my gear. I've got the Shui Fable helmet that I'm wearing here. I've got a Senna 10C Pro helmet camera on the side. I'm using an Insta 360 One X2 camera. I'm using some Gain Kevlar gloves, TSG wrist guards. I've got the Liart Airfit Light. It's the 3DF um, body armor. 
and I've got the Liat Z frame knee braces as well so I've protected myself you know so I can actually get the speeds up when I find the places to do that just learning to get um, to know the wheels limits find my limits you gotta watch out this loose leaf litter where they're mowing because you know you hit I've got a knobby tire it should be fine but you know depending on what you're riding this stuff can really throw you off especially if you're leaning on a corner even on a motorbike that stuff it's a bit of a worry but as long as you lose traction with the road if that leaf hits that rubber in the right way you're going over so just watch those corners but thanks for coming along for this I think this will be the third video maybe I've shot some footage I've got a heap of footage I need to sit down and edit into some content but um, I'm happy and getting fit and feeling it in my legs a lot so this is hard work uh, it's hot today I was I wasn't putting this off but I was just oh, it's gonna be hard work especially if I commit to this full range test today which I was kind of hoping to um, yeah we'll see but I won't make you sit through that it might take an hour or two for me to do all of this and then I'll need to edit it but while I'm shooting it I'll speed the footage up and I'll put some music on and probably do some edits so you can just sit there for 10-15 minutes and 10-15 minutes of pain for you but it's like a good hour or so for me at least awesome anyway thanks again I've, all those new subscribers thanks so much I really appreciate that helps me out I'll uh, get rolling and let's see what the V13 can do thanks again I was rolling along here and there was a really long snake, it filled the whole path. It's the first time I've really hit the brakes on, on a wheel. So I'm sitting at 84% battery. So far I've traveled this trip 17 kilometers. It's still giving me a range of 166 kilometers. That's not gonna be accurate. I, I guess we'll find out. Wouldn't that be surprising? I guess I'd have something to report on my channel then, worth watching, you know. Person that got 200 kilometers off a charge on the V13. I guess the day's coming where that's gonna happen. But we're not there yet. My feet are feeling it, so it's good to have that seat. I think when I get away from all this windy road, if I ever do, I might take a seat and just chill out for a bit but it's good there's not many people I think you saw back there there was a guy on a bike it looked like very hard work why would you have a bike but um, he was sort of on the wrong side of the road when I came around the corner and you've still got enough room I mean I think I leave enough in the tank I can pull up on this pretty quick I've got some chunky legs so I guess you know you want to know that you can do that before and stick to your you know side it's sort of something that you learn in bike riding is just to find your space and try to stick with it as much as possible sometimes you find those blind corners you find if you're going too fast around those blind corners you can't hold your line and you know that's what you want to watch out for coming the other way too it could be someone else that's just bought a v13 and they can't hold their line and you don't want to come clashing together those two orange shiny machines hitting each other that would be a disaster definitely get you some views though so um, each to their own I guess but wow what a weapon I'm really enjoying it so my chambers I've got 200 in the bottom chamber at the moment oh, and you feel it in places like that where you find an unexpected little bump but yeah it's been a comfortable trip so far I mean I've done this on the v11 a couple of times Feel free to go back, you know, you might enjoy this so much, want to see the scenery again. I used to get about 70 kilometer range doing this similar trip on the V11. So it will be interesting, I guess, to see how this compares to the V11 on the same trip. But I think so far it feels a lot more comfortable. 
The only thing that I am noticing is the foot pain. And that's just new wheel blues. You get it in your shoes. So I'm just gonna push on, keep going. Uh, I might even turn the cameras off to make sure I've got some battery for the way back. So I might just kill some, um, kill some time, some space. And we'll meet back here shortly or something. So I'm sitting at 74% battery and we've done 26 kilometers. So still going, still going strong, still having a blast. It's actually really thrilling, like um, just being on the wheel, <laughs> you know what I mean. Having heaps of fun. So I haven't, um, I've only been out this way once I think on the wheel got an unexplored territory for me. I'm not sure where we're going to end up, but I'm just going to roll this path until it ends and try to keep an eye on my battery to keep it at 50% so I can head back. I guess that's one part of electric vehicles, isn't it? You need to know when to go home. And I think for me, this is what the range test helps with. It just helps me get, um, get rid of that battery anxiety if I know that I can get a hundred kilometers out of it. That, you know, helps me plan things sometimes. You might need to roll a hundred kilometers, charge it up for a few hours, have some lunch and then keep rolling. Or, you know, just so you can keep up and plan those group rides when people say that it's gonna be 80 kilometers. I mean, this should cover 80 kilometers. But yeah, we'll find out. I need to get the muscles up on the legs. I need to get used to things. Still trying to feel the wheel out. And once I get used to how it feels now, I can start diving into the settings and playing with, you know, the dampener and the braking assist and speed assist and all of those settings. But for now, I mean, I'm happy with how this is and I'm happy, <laughs> really happy actually. 
with how it's rolling. Uh, these pathways are a really good place to find some room and test it out. So yeah, no, um, no signs of weakness from this wheel at all. Only weakness is me and my feet feeling that pain. Doesn't matter, I don't think how long you've been rolling. Maybe it does, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if that ever goes away, the more wheels you've got. Maybe, you know, transitioning between the different pedal profiles. I don't know if it's just to do with the shape of them or just their pressure points are sitting in different places on your feet. Perhaps that's all it is. So maybe I'm just a weak man. I think I've covered on that before too. I'm not, I haven't cried this video. And you know, the pain's not that bad yet. But you might see it to you later. Ask me again in another 50 kilometers. But I've got to say, for 72% battery left, and we've already covered 29 kilometers, it's looking pretty good. Pretty good for a decent range. I don't know where we go now. Just following the path, getting lost, and it's nice to know you've got enough battery to do that. I, I don't mind this tire at all. I haven't really noticed it be much work. I'm using the C CST tire on the V11, just a standard tire. I'm really not that fussy. I should be, and maybe I could be. Maybe I'll become a bit more fussy when I learn a bit more stuff, but um, yeah, but as, as for now, I'm just happy with whatever I get. So my other camera ran out of battery, so I'm just going to talk on this one. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm at 59% battery. And I've done 39 kilometers. So, look, I think that was partly my fault because I got, you know, I'm up to 85 kilometers there again with my speed limit. So I started doing some speed runs. So at the moment it's showing. Just read it. Yeah, 37 kilometers per hour is the average speed. But I was yeah hitting hitting a few speed runs there. I just found a bike track. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't hear me. I found a bike track back there, and I started just doing some speed runs back and forwards. So much fun! It's really thrilling. It makes me giggle. Um, and yeah, there's heaps more than I can access just yet, so... You know, I find you... I got to 85, I'm not really trying, like... I've got a bag on and my technique's pretty poor. I'm carrying a camera. Well, I'm just back home now. My um, headset camera ran out of battery, so I'm just recording this sitting with a coffee, looking at myself sitting down on the wheel. How comfortable does that look? And it really, really is. 
Somebody asked if I can get my feet inside my pads while I'm sitting. And this wheel, for my height, it allows me to do that. So I'm about five foot eight. And I can just sort of flick my toes inside the pads, but get my knees out. And I guess it's a work in progress and I'm still adjusting things. But yeah, seated riding is really comfortable for me at this height. So this range test, I was really super impressed. Uh, actually, you know, the weather here is one factor. Um, we've got nice warm conditions at the moment, so that's good for your battery life. And, you know, this is a pretty flat run. There wasn't, you know, no terrain. I'm not going up and down hills, so quite an easy workout on the wheel. I've got a new tyre, and that's, you know, a bit of a knobby tyre, so that's going to affect the range. And, you know, having all that tread, also things like that affect it. Your PSI will affect it, what you're carrying, the weight, um, so many things, you know, come into it. So you can't really expect the same thing all the time in all the conditions for every wheel. But for me, the thing that really stood out was the low power, um, low battery power. So on my V11, if I get below 50% battery, I do have to limp it, you know, you really can't get near the top speed and you do get a lot more tilt back and you have to watch the way you ride it. Uh, and you do start to limp it a bit more towards the end. I'd have to go back and watch my V11 video, but I know at the end I was really pushing to get it to 70 kilometers. So limping it around and around the block, I think, just to try to get as much as I could. And, you know, I didn't need to do that with this. If you see towards the end here, you know, what was really amazing for me was the speed I was able to get at a low 15% uh, battery. You know, I had a private road there that I could get 58 kilometers per hour at 15% battery. Now, I got my very first warning at 14% battery and I was still able to go about 30 something kilometers. So it's really outstanding. The, audible warning that comes in it just it i could hear that through my shoey helmet i wasn't going too fast and there wasn't a lot of wind noise so you know i think i might have had my visor open so all of these things are going to be what you know you, you need to set your wheel up you need to know when it's going to alert you and it's basically a voice that's saying please slow down or battery low battery warning i think was what it said and there was a tilt back, but it was really subtle. I could only just feel it. So if you're used to the V11 tilt back, this one is slightly different. And, you know, unfortunately the app isn't allowing me to get in. <clears throat> the new InMotion app is still a little bit buggy and I can't really get in to find all of my warnings and set my alarms the way that I used to be able to. And I still can't log in on Darkness Spot for some reason. So I'm having trouble just setting up my warnings. I'll do a video on that down the track. Um, but, you know, you need to be aware of that. And you need to be aware of your low battery and keep an eye on how it is. And just get to know your wheel, I guess. But this, you know, outstanding. I finished up with 82 kilometer range. And I still had, I think, about 14% battery. And at that point, I could still travel over 20 kilometers per hour. So you, you could still milk a little bit more out of it. And, you know, maybe I'll do that in a later date. I might revisit this range test just in a couple of weeks once the wheels settled in and we might just see how that goes again. Thanks so much for putting up with this one. It was a long video today, I think about 25 minutes. So thanks so much for your support. It took quite a bit to get this one done. I just wanted to give you an idea of what you can expect from the V13 Challenger range-wise. So 82 kilometers. My weight is about 90 kilos um, with gear. i uh, probably push it up to 95 kilos, I guess. And yeah, 82 kilometer range. Average speed, 37 kilometers per hour. That was a lot of that private, you know, off-road stuff that I was doing off camera to get those speeds to that. And um, yeah, a good day, a good wheel. Really happy with that. I know some people want more, but for what I need, that's everything and it's got a fast charge to get me back rolling again so i'll see you again uh, really soon i'll get it charged up and next time i do jump down a few stairs and uh, a little drop we just have a nice fun run into the city so please come along like subscribe hit that bell to be notified when i upload and i'll see you next time
Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so here we are. We've just got back home. Don't know if you can see that screen, but I've got 14% battery left. It still says I'd get 18 kilometer range, but um, you know, that would be going pretty slow. 20, 30 kilometers, I think I was going there at the end and I was getting warnings pretty consistently. But you can see I've done 81 kilometers, 37 kilometer average speed with a max speed of 85. Um, yeah, it was good. You know, maybe I expected just a bit more range, but I'm not going to complain with the way that I was riding. You know, I was having fun riding the whole time. And, you know, I wasn't really taking it too easy. So, yeah, there's my first range. You know, that's like day three. So, I think things might still wear in. There's a lot of tread on that tyre. There was a lot of wind today. So, things like that will, will impact it. But, you know, I'd be hesitant to say maybe you get an extra 10 kilometres, maybe 20 if you were riding. Low battery, please recharge as soon as possible. Great, so that's just reading my fault warnings. At least you got these warnings on the visual display. So, look, I'll, I'll edit that up together and, um, yeah, there's at least a bit of an idea what you can expect from this... Um, this beautiful wheel so maybe not the longest range but um heaps of fun and really good quality so that range is fine for me i'll enjoy that board and then back board and